Okay, so this video is going to be about the lures that I uh, bought. I bought uh, some at Walmart, some off of eBay, or at least I bought one off of eBay. So I'm uh, going to do a challenge with these. Uh, I think on either Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to do the actual fishing and probably post them on Monday or Tuesday. But I uh, I've tried to do this uh, video showing you the lures. Uh, I tried to do the video six times already today. Uh, first two, or actually first three, I didn't push record. I uh, and the rest of them I done the video too long. See if you guys, I don't know if you guys know it or not, but if you try to post a video with your phone, it has to be under 15 minutes. So I. Uh, didn't know that until I tried to post a video that was 17 minutes, 51 seconds long, and it didn't work. So I had to shorten it down. So we'll get right into it before it goes too long. First is the cheapest lure I bought. It's from Walmart. It's a stripe, or it's not stripe, I'm sorry. It's the Yum Dinger, and it's like glitter shad color. And this thing is covered in glitter if you hold it up to the sun or the light in my room you can't even see the other side of it you can't there's no uh color to it at all if you hold it up to the sun it's just all glitter and that's kind of a it's it's one of the most stupidest looking colors that just may work now you know it's odd it definitely is it's just silver I think if you rig it weightless Texas rig, possibly around the schools of bass, uh, around the schools of shad, it could work. Uh, you could probably catch some of the bigger fish on. Next, I bought this here. Uh, hang on a minute. Let's go back to the stick worm real quick. I'm going to do this video a little bit different. What well, the way I'd rig this and the line and stuff I would use, I'd fish it with 20 pound monofilament if you like monofilament. I personally don't like monofilament unless I'm fishing light uh, tackle, like drop shot, shaky head, stuff like that. If I'm fishing a Texas rig, a weightless Texas rig, I usually go with 15 pound braid, straight braid, uh, 2 watt EWG hook, which you guys seen me do that quite a bit with the uh, green pumpkin stick worms. Now this here is a flipping bait, it's a striking rodent. It's in watermelon red color. Um, I thought for long the longest time it was kind of a stupid looking lure when I first seen it. I seen it in a magazine I got. Um, but then I seen a, a, a episode of Strike King's Protein Journal. And it had Kevin Van Dam on there flipping trees with this exact bait in exact color. And he caught like 20 some fish that were over 2 pounds. And the uh, biggest fish I believe was 7.3. So, you know, they, that might just been editing out all the small fish, but still, you know, catch that many fish, you know, it's got to be a good bait if it's going to catch that many fish. This is watermelon red color. I don't know if I said that. Probably did. I probably just forgot already, but it's got like bulb, bulb feet. The way I'd rig this, if you want to rig it on a wobble head, you know, get your favorite wobble head and fish it with a 20 pound monofilament if I fish a wobble head. This on a flipping rig is one of my favorite ways to fish a bait like this. I don't usually fish wobbleheads. Now, if I'm going to fish a bait like a bait like this, I'll fish it with a Texas rig. If I'm flipping it, I'll use a half ounce uh, lead weight because I don't I can't afford tungsten. I use the uh, cheap dollar uh, sixteen lead weights at Walmart and fish it with a three out flipping hook. Now you can go up to four out flipping hooks, or you can just use EWG hooks. Um, on one of my rods that I use for flipping, I have a 20 pound monofilament. It's the old style catfish, big giant, uh, 33 big yellow rod. And you'll probably see me fishing with that one of the, in one of these days in my videos. Um, but that's one of my flipping rods, and then my other one, I got. Uh, 50 pound spider wire pro braid. Uh, I love spider wire braid. You know, my grandpa, uh, he passed away a couple, quite a few years ago, but 
he had old bluegill and crappie fishing poles and he had some spider wire on it and he spooled that that reel up close to 12 probably now about close to 15 years ago and that line was still usable and it's still being used now on that same pole it's as strong as it ever was really it's we don't remember what test it was i i think it was about 10 pound test line but it's it is still strong you know you could you could still catch a 12 pound bass on it and it won't break you know it's still a very strong line so if you guys you know a lot of people like to use power pro i don't even i don't even look at power pro i always if i'm going to buy braid i go straight to spider wire find the line that i'm going to buy pick it up leave. i don't look at any other braid companies it's cheap but it's very effective it's just like strike king lures you know they're cheap but they work they got quality to them now this here is the other way we bought it's a strike king um uh, rage blade in green pumpkin crawl color. It's got the twin tail trailer. Uh, it's pretty cool, unique head design. It ain't really any. It ain't really unique anymore because I've been out for a while. But it's pretty unique to me. I think it's different looking, and I really like how it's it's light, it's small, but it's heavy. You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of that kind of don't make sense, but it does to me. Uh, you guys probably don't really understand what I mean, but it's tungsten, you know. Uh, tungsten is a light but heavy weight. It's it's small but heavy, you know. It's like, uh, you know, it can be half the size of a half ounce weight but weigh half an ounce. You know, it's 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 different, you know. You guys probably be able to look it up or you, if you've already if you don't already know about it. It's it's pretty cool. Now, this next one is a lure that I've always wanted, and I think it's going to be something that's really going to work. I think it's going to be one of the best lures, not just top water lures, but lures that I've ever bought. I really do. It's a live target mouse. I think that they're going, them bass are going to think, well, I've never seen a lure like that before. You know, I've seen, I've seen frogs. I've seen flipping baits. I've seen stick worms. I've seen chatter baits. Never seen nothing like that before. Where in the world did that come from? Just a little mouse plop, plop, plopping across the water. And then all of a sudden, six pounder explodes on it. And you jack him, get that double four out hook. I'm, I'm guessing it's a four out. Four out hook straight through the lip. And you just reel him right on in. Now, I forgot to say on this chatterbait what line I would use. I would use. In my opinion, I would rather use braid and chatter baits. I think it just helps it sink a little bit better. Um, this, I would use 15 pound braid, uh, straight braid. A lot of people think you have to have a leader. I don't care to use leaders. I think leaders are really a waste of time. If they're going to bite, they're going to bite whether they are a leader or not, in my opinion. But, you know, other people have opinions. Now, this here. It's brown and white, as you can see. It's brown back, white belly. And it's got the pink ears and the pink little feet. It's very realistic. Of course, it's called Live Target, and their company's been around for a while. This is the uh, mouse. And I just think that uh, the people around here in this small little town that I call home don't have a bait like that in their tackle box. They just don't. You know, they have... You know, you think of people, they have stick worms, the bass guys have stick worms, trick worms, flipping baits, chatter baits, crank baits. That's really it. You know, I mean, I'm sure there's somebody out there that has a live target bait, um, but, you know, there's not going to be a lot. So, when I think of a bait that is going to possibly change the uh, way I fish, not really the way I fish, but when I think something that's going to change the game for myself personally, I think this could possibly be it. I think I could possibly catch a personal best on this. You know how you have those feelings about things, you know, like I found a brand new tree stand spot a while back. 
I just have a feeling that that spot is going, I'm going to kill a big buck out of that spot. It just looks perfect. This bait, I have that, I have a feeling like that, you know, I have a feeling that I could possibly catch my personal best bass on it. You know, now, I've had feelings like that before, and it completely bombed. You know, um, I bought some, I don't know where in the world they are. No, uh, they are right. Nope, they're in the tent. But anyway, I'm not going to dig through my tackle box to take too long. But I bought some red shad colored ribbon tail U tail worms from Zoom. And I thought they were going to be the best lure color and the best uh, worm I ever bought. That completely bombed. I only caught four fish on that worm since I started fishing it, and they were all tiny little fish. So, them type of feelings, you know, you have them feelings and they can work out perfect, or you have them feelings and they can totally bomb. I really have that feeling with this type of bait. You know, you get in, you get in them areas where you have a feeling you're going to kill a big buck. You know, I found that area back over here where I deer hunt. I just have that feeling that I am going to kill a big buck out of that stand when I put my new deer stand over there. I have a feeling similar to that with this mouse that I could possibly catch the biggest bass so far, anyway, of my life on it. But, you know, it might not work. So, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you have guys, if you guys have any comments, make sure you comment. Uh, I love commenting back to people. I love answering questions. Uh, I uh, I don't have very many subscribers. I've noticed I make a lot of videos. I've seen people who don't have any videos at all and have 30 plus, 35, 36 subscribers. And it doesn't really make sense to me because I put out videos and only got nine subscribers to the point where I'm making this video. Now, there's probably people who say, who in two years from now when I got, let's say, 150, 200 subscribers, they're going to say, well, you have 250 subscribers now. Wait, think of when I posted this video, though, you know. So, now at this point, when I'm posting this video right now, I have nine subscribers. And uh, so, if you guys like the videos, uh, please subscribe. You know, it helps me a little bit and doesn't really make any money for me or nothing like that but it makes me think that I have to keep doing these videos you know so I love making videos so thanks for watching uh, leave a thumbs up if the video was good uh, comment any uh, suggestions for new videos and uh, I think that's about it thanks for watching here's the baits again the live target mouse, the worm, the flipping bait, and the chatterbait.